So let's go ahead and grab a club, put it across our shoulders. As I stand straight up and down, the first thing I wanna do is get that club pointing at least 90 degrees or 90 degrees of rotation going in the back swing and then the forward swing. Now here, I'm letting this club go ahead and rotate level with the ground. So again, we're gonna get in four or five reps here. You'll notice my left foot starts to lift up a little bit in the back swing. My right foot lifts up a little bit in the forward swing. As I come on through, I'm gonna get a little bit more than 90 degrees and I'm gonna get this right side of my shoulder, this right shoulder pointing as far down the fairway as I can. Now that can only happen if I let my hips swivel. That can only happen if I let my feet move a little bit on the ground. So many times I see players get locked in, they don't wanna move their feet at all and now I get really bound up. I gotta go ahead and let my feet move and let my shoulders, my hips rotate back and through. That's really the basis of the golf swing. If I can get that rotation, everything else is built on top of that. Now from here, we're simply gonna take that same rotation and we're just gonna hinge forward. So if I'm coming level with the ground, imagine this being a plane of glass as I'm rotating back and through. In the golf swing, all we're doing is we're hinging forward. So now that plane of glass is tilted down toward the ground. Imagine a window here, anywhere between from where I would be hitting the golf ball to say two or three feet outside of that. And I wanna imagine this club or this plane of glass being tilted down toward that. And now as I rotate back and through, I want my club to be pointing in that zone. So again here, letting my foot lift up. As I come back, I'm getting at least 90 degrees of shoulder turn. As I come on through, I'm getting past 90 degrees, letting my right foot come on up. I'm staying in my posture here. I don't wanna come all the way to my complete finish. I'm just gonna stay in my posture where that club is rotating on that same plane of glass back and through. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and get four or five reps as I'm doing this, rotating back and through, making sure that my club is pointing on the ground, almost imagining a line going back and through toward my target. And my club is just gonna trace that line as I come back and through. That's getting my body to stay in its posture. That's getting me to rotate. That's really building the foundation of what is a golf swing. So as I really ingrain this, that's gonna make golf a lot simpler. It's gonna make me more consistent and because I got good rotation, it's also gonna get me a lot of power.